Okay, a video today we're going to be um, showing the GoPro uh, app on my iPhone here. And we're going to be showing it um, on my uh, hexacopter with the new Articopter controller I put on yesterday. And I'm going to go through some of the flight modes. I also have a camera focused directly on my radio so you can actually see um, what are all the different switches I'm using uh, on the radio. Okay. So first we're going to do, we're going to arm it. Okay, I'm going to take off in stabilized mode. Okay, so we're in stabilized mode. That's my main mode that I have for the radio. Okay. Then I have two switches that I use. I use this switch and this switch here. To be able to get six modes, you need two switches. This is a three mode, a three position switch, and this is a two position switch. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go from my normal stabilized flying mode, we'll put it into acro, which is two, which on this radio is two switches back. And you can see with acro, you can fly very aggressively. Okay, so you see that's acro mode. Okay, so I'm gonna flick it back into stabilized mode. Go back into stabilize. Next mode we're gonna do is this altitude hold mode. So I'm gonna put it up to an altitude. I'm gonna flick this switch here. And now I'm put in altitude hold. So I fly the helicopter normally, just like I would, but I don't have to touch the throttle stick. It'll hold a relatively stable altitude. You can see by on the radio, I'm not touching my my uh, throttle stick at all. And no matter how aggressively I get with flying the helicopter, remember it's an altitude hold, but it's in stabilized mode. Okay. Okay, so that's that's altitude hold mode. Okay, so I'm gonna flick it back into stable mode again. Okay, now we're back in stable. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is loiter. So I'm gonna find a nice place that I want to sit it. Put it maybe right about, maybe a little higher. Right about there. I'm gonna flick it with that, with this switch right here. In my middle position, now it's in loiter mode. As you can see, I'm not touching any of the controls on the radio. And it's just flying enough. You can also see on this, the video, you can see that um, the preview from the camera is actually showing up on the, um, the GoPro, which is pretty cool. Okay. So I'm going to flick that back out of loiter mode. As you can see, it's, it keeps its GPS position pretty good. It'll fly around a little bit. Let me, uh, right over top of me here. But it's holding its position really good. I haven't touched it still. I got a tree right beside me. So I'm gonna flick it out of loiter mode. That puts it back into stabilize mode again. And the other mode I'm gonna use is called stabilize with simple. So what I'm gonna do is flick this. Now I'm in simple mode, which basically means the helicopter flies as if it's always pointed away from me. Right now it actually is pointed away from me. But now I could change it to it so it's from beside me. So the helicopter is actually sideways to me. But you can see from the controls that I'm flying it as if it's flying away from me. Sometimes it, it can freak you out a little bit sometimes. Because you're so used to flying it with the helicopter pointed away from you or used to that orientation. Sometimes you actually screw up but you got to remember that you're flying it as if it's away from you all the time so this could be good if you're flying from very far away from you 
and you can't tell the orientation of the helicopter, you can fly in simple mode, just know that if you point the stick back toward you, the helicopter is going to come toward you. It's very important that the position when you arm the helicopter, your body position stays the same. You cannot change your body position, both in where you're pointing and actually your actual location. That way, when it's armed, that's what it's fixed at. Okay, so that's simple mode. I'm going to rotate it around again before I flip it back into stabilized mode. And I flick it back into stabilized mode by flicking that and flicking that. Okay, so I, so I have two switches to control six modes. The last mode I haven't showed you yet, the sixth mode is uh, land, which it's really hard in this particular, I'm not, I don't have very much height to work with. So I'll put it up pretty high. And then I will flick this switch back and this one back all the way. It'll go and it slowly descends. Comes to the ground. And then boom, flick that off and it's landed. So those are all the different modes I have on uh, the Articopter. Like I said, I just um, put this on the helicopter yesterday, flew it a couple times, did the setups, and it flies great.